Hey there, fellow horse lovers everywhere. Welcome to the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. Today is all about pampering my best buddy, Dakota. You'll see a full grooming session while watching him get a nice refreshing bath at the same time. You'll see me brushing down that gorgeous coat to scrubbing away any dirt and grime, leaving him looking and feeling his best. Dakota absolutely loves his bath days and I think you're going to love watching him enjoy every second of it. But before we dive into the fun, I want to take a moment to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Shagbark Lumber and Feed Supply, located in East Haddam, Connecticut. They are my go-to for all of Dakota's needs, from the highest quality hay and feed to the softest shavings that make his stall feel like a five-star hotel. Shagbark not only keeps Dakota healthy and happy, but they also support our equestrian community with top-notch customer service and unbeatable products. If you're in the area, be sure to check them out for all your horse care essentials. Now let's get started with Dakota's grooming session. Stay tuned and enjoy. Had a special project, needed some supplies. Every item on my list was right before my eyes. Shopping here was easy, so quick and hassle-free. Now my home's a castle, glad I barked up the right tree. Shag Bark, so much to choose from Shag Bark. Shag Bark. Great customer service, come to Shag Bark. <gasps> it's warm out. Hubbub. What's the matter? You get things biting you? I got them off you, honey. All right. So it's September, mid-September, and it's hot again. Oh, we got poop stuck in our fly boots. Well, that's always nice. He is just getting attacked by flies, even though I spray him every single day, huh, baby? I know, honey. I know, baby. Here, start with an apple. Yeah. Hmm. I'll try not to breathe heavy through this. Anyways, here we are. We're going to try a new shampoo today. Because I noticed, and I think it's from the fly spray, I'm using a really heavy duty one on him. Because they're bad. Super bad. Um... Pardon me while I keep adjusting this. So we're gonna use the Vetrolin bath. It's a luxurious leather, lather, luxurious lather floats dirt and dandruff away. Cause I've noticed he's been a little scaly and I think it's actually from that fly spray because nothing is killing these or repelling these um, biting flies this year, they're awful. It's made with argan oil, so it'll clean gently and effectively. A rich lather foams away dirt, skin debris, and dandruff. It's rich in omega-6 fatty acids, strengthens hair, and provides additional shine. Protein and rich conditioners and PABA sunscreen protect skin and hair from environmental pollutants. Vetrolin bath with argan oil rinses fast, leaving only a healthy shine in the fresh, familiar Vetrolin fragrance. So this is my first time. And again, I am using Girl with the Dogs 2, her nozzle, which I absolutely love. I don't have a bad thing to say about this nozzle at all. It's really good, really cool. This one always... There we go. You have to actually open the... I'm gonna wear a grooming glove too. Hang on, bub, this is awfully... A little colder, not that it'll 
bother them because it's so warm today, but I hate shocking them. I'm wearing a grooming glove, if you can see this. Hands-on, they're called. There's a fly biting them right now. Crazy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go to a horse show. My friend Ann Bowie from Horsepower Farm is riding to a stock tomorrow as he's one of the students. Callie, so I'm really excited to go see them compete and I'll be videoing. All right, well this clearly, you gotta watch your dial. I'm not good at this soap dial yet. But I'll get there. We don't have too many baths left of the season. But you never know, it is New England blink and the weather will change. That's what we know for sure. If you blink, the weather will change. So far, so good with this shampoo. It's really nice. Again, I think I'm... Oh, not quite. Shedding like mad, shedding out his summer coat, which you have to expect this time of the year. Girls with the dog too, if your dog or girl with the dogs too, if you are watching this, and I did reach out to her because it would be, I think it would be very cool to. Uh, interview her. Oh, what are we doing? Are we doing our ballet again? Our bathing ballet? Yeah. Uh-huh. There it is. Watch this. I knew you were gonna step on it. <laughs> Dakota, did I, how did I know? Cause that's what I do, mama, that's what I do. You gonna do it again? Huh? Are you going to do it again? Oof. I'm loving the smell of the shampoo. It's awesome. True. And these legs, yeah. Ba, ba, ba. All right, the only thing that I want to do now is put some bluing shampoo in your tail. Okay. 
I noticed that girl with the dogs too also uses blueing shampoo on her white dogs. You got to. I mean, I get it. You know, Dakota's out in a pasture all the time, so we're not going to. I forgot to put my muck boots on. My, yeah. I forgot, Dakota. Time to rinse. Let's see if I can get this one right. Baba, what are you doing? You were itchy. You were itchy, my baby. Yes, yes, you were. I seen it with my own two eyes. You were like, get me out of there. I know. We'll go outside. You can graze for a while. I just don't feel clean unless my horse is clean. <laughs> I don't. These gloves are great too. I, I like them for shedding out, but I really like them for, for this kind of stuff. And also for, um, Like circulation of the skin and the blood. I mean, think about it. Look at these great little nubbies on here. It was so cute. I got a comment the other day on his last bath from someone who thought that I was using that my scraper was one of those um, things that you use to slide into your shoes. And she was like, I don't think he's enjoying you using that shoe device on, on him. <laughs> it was so cute. I can see if, you know, if you don't know what it is, I can see why you think that's what it was. But it's not, it's a scraper. Oh, are we getting a little weird here? Are you being fresh? Hmm? Oh, oh yes. Hang on. Hang on. I still have snacks. I still got goodies for you, bub. Yeah. You got itchy right there? I can feel it. Stop. Sometimes I have to get a little a little more firm with him. It's, hey, knock it off. That's not funny. You're just, you're really being fresh today. Yeah, how come? How come you're really being fresh today? You gotta be rinsed, hon, because if you're not, you're gonna be itchy. Go ahead, go ahead. You can shake, you can shake. Now you're standing on things, great. Turning the water off, great. Come here, give me a foot. Oh, thank you. I'll come around back, this might be easier. Hey. He, re 
really does well for getting baths. I mean, all things considered, there's some horses terrified of water. You know? I get it. What handsome boy. What? No. It's just water, sweetie. It's never killed anyone. A bath has never killed anyone. Not children, not puppies, not cats. And certainly not horses. I know you love to be dirty. I know, I know, I know. what almost done all right let me just try scraping and see what you make sure you're not uh holding on to any looking good you want a bite of your apple uh -huh. oh what you got mom yeah uh-huh these are really good. I just got them today. I not spoiled. I not. No, I am not. Okay, Britt, if you're watching, Auntie's doing your favorite part here. You were like, slow down. You can have the rest of that after, Dakota. I want to thank the Clever Cowgirl. If you watch her, maybe you don't, but if you don't, you should. I want to congratulate her first on reaching 100,000 subscribers today. Congratulations. No easy feat. She lives out in Montana and she goes to auctions and buys sometimes the horses that other people might overlook and she rehabs them. And she does remarkable with them. She's so hardworking, and I really admire her. I watch her videos as soon as they pop up. There's a few people, a few content creators that I really like and follow. Um, she's one of them. But she did a video a couple days ago and about her little pony, Nigel. He's 30 years old. And he just got diagnosed with Cushing's disease, which Dakota has, early stages, same with him. She's got him on, her vet's got him on pergolide. Dakota's on Presend, um, which has been great. There are side effects with it, and he'll be on it the rest of his life because there's no cure, only a treatment, a daily treatment. So he takes a pill every day and she was mentioning how expensive it is. Yep, three bucks a day for a one milligram pill. But if that keeps this from progressing and keeps things under control, sure. But here's what I learned from the Clever Cowgirl that I did not know because she was using Chase Berry on Nigel. And I used Chase Berry on him, but she said she took him off of the Chase Berry. Oh, I didn't get all, I didn't rinse your tail all the way. Hold on, we gotta rinse your tail. Um, because you can't, you can't have them on both. You can't have them on the medicine for cushions and 
taste very. So I'm so grateful that I watched that video because I'll now take him off of it. It's a supplement, Chase Berry, and it's it's a pituitary supplement for horses that are showing signs, and it does work. Um, and I'll hang on to it because I've got a lot of it. And uh, you know, if I ever get to a place where I can no longer afford to give him the percent. I hope that doesn't happen. I have auto ship. It does require a prescription from my vet. But I'll hang on to the Chase Berry because you never know, right? You never know what circumstances you're going to find yourself in financially or whatever. And uh, I've got to make sure I can treat him. Good grief, Bub. Good grief. That's rude. You're being rude. Yeah. I'm going to put hay in your stall. And your dinner. And you can... Actually, I'm not going to put your dinner in there, but I am going to put your favorite hay in there. He loves this beautiful... Uh, second cutting... It is scrumptious. It is expensive. 16 bucks a bale. I think I've mentioned it before. Crazy, right? I'm not going to worry about water because he's not going to be in there that long. I am going to borrow his bucket, though. Why? Because I have a weeding job to do this week, and I need a bucket to haul off the weeds. There's the man of the hour. Hello, you handsome boy. Say hello to all your friends on YouTube. Yeah, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Sure. I'm the freshest boy. I am. But my mother loved me so much that she can't help but love me even when I is very fresh, right? Yeah, let's go in here and eat some hay. What is with all the snorting? You're snorkeling. That's so ridiculous. No, you're staying in. Eat, eat your hay. Just eat your hay while I clean up and get things ready for dinner around here. Oh my gosh. Actually, I think I'm going to use the bigger... Are these the same size? No. I need the bigger one for weeds. All right. Time to put stuff away. I like this. I have to say, I'm really impressed. I'm impressed with how it got the um, yellow stains off of him. It did lift the dirt beautifully. So, you know what? That's a 10 out of 10 from me regarding the Vetrolin bath. Farnham is the producer of that. Vetrolin makes a lot of different products. But I do like that one, I have to say. And I do absolutely love that shampoo nozzle. <sighs> I'll sleep better tonight knowing that my horse had a bath. That's all I'm going to say about that. 
you know, even if I never get to ride Dakota again, and I'm sure I will, he's doing good with his injuries, showing no signs of lameness. Um, but even if I didn't ever ride him again, he'll always be my best friend. And I really, and this is where I agree with the clever cowgirl, because she said it the other day on one of her videos. She's got some issues with her back, so she hasn't been able to ride. And boy, I get that. I'm 61 years old now, so it's just my back's not where it used to be. Definitely don't bounce back. Um, I do okay, though, for an oldie. But... She said it too. She loves caring for them. And there's some pure joy, pure simple, but amazing joy in caring for these animals. And uh, it does your heart good. I always enjoyed the daily care, always. Have I missed having my horses in the backyard? Absolutely, but this comes close. Great people. Oh, all right, I gotta wash this off. That's disgusting. I don't know if it's not mine. Oh, I'm going to have to do it. I love using this. Coconut and hibiscus smell so good. going on? Huh? What's going on? What? You want to say hello? Say hello. <laughs> I'm going out of here. Let me out of this jail. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it. That's a good man. Just gotta relax, enjoy your hay, dry off. The fans are blowing on you. That's just so comfy, comfy, comfy. Yeah, so comfortable. You didn't want to stay in your paddock either. You were anxious to get out. You were, I know. You're drying fast, so that's good. I love you, bubs.